Hello everybody and welcome back to another review. Today we'll be going over the Infinity Saga Odin. Found this at Target. I haven't been really been able, I don't like ordering offline, I like hunting for them, so this is one of the ones I was able to get at Target. Um, for the Infinity Saga set, the uh, uh, kind of a special set for 2021, like last year was the X-Men, the year before it was um, Marvel 80th Anniversary, and the year before it was MCU First 10 Years. This year it is the Infinity Saga. We'll go over the boxes, what the front looked like. It says Infinity Saga right there with the Avengers logo. It says Odin, warning. Over the top, Thor, Marvel Legends. Thor, Odin on that side. And we have the same image as the Happy Hogan and Iron Man right here. Same on that side. On the back, poster for Thor. The king of Asgard, protector of the nine realms, and father of Thor, Odin has learned to appreciate peace over these centuries. So we have been needing this Odin. We haven't been needing it. It's kind of a side, more side character, which, but it's good to get these characters. First thing is when it's packaged, there's a separate thing, piece of plastic where the cape drapes over. Just wanted to point that out. And this is the background, pretty good cardboard, and the same imagery from the Happy Hogan and Iron Man. Normal sleeve of paper for him too. Now I'll be going over the ex so this is what it came with in the package. The accessories include another head, a punching hand, a punching right hand, and a half grip left hand. He also came with the staff, and this came on him in the package, but it comes off his nice helmet crown. Looks really good. And this is the figure. Not my favorite, I mean, it's kind of plain, but if this is a good figure to get the head sculpt, it looks really good. And this one's kind of like a uh, normal face and you pop it off, the dumbbell joint. This one is kind of more smiling, if it will pop on. First thing I noticed when I got it was the cape was super nice. I mean, look at that, feels, it's nice and kind of soft plastic, it can move around. But it's super nice the way it's sculpted. The sculpt is really good. Um, there is a peg on the cape. Plugs, plugs, in, plugs in. You get kind of this Thor thing. So the, the six bolts, just like the classic Thor, kind of if you're on Odin 2. Uh, the cape drapes over the shoulder. You lift that up. You can see the nice sculpting on the arm. Nice brown. I don't really like the brown. But I mean, it is what it is. Makes the cake pop a lot more. Nice sculpting all over that. Oh, this is really good sculpt here. Marble Edges have really been upping their game this year with their sculpting. Yeah, the cape's connected right there to this, this top piece, which is not. You can see it's kind of a gap. It is glued in, I think. Um. This piece is floating, so if you wanted to, you could glue that down. You could take it off if you wanted to. Here. Okay, it does not come off like my Doctor Strange. It's just wandering. Nice boots here that we got sculpted. Yeah, so then this crown, sculpted in nice gold. Kind of, it's just flat gold, not swirly twirly. It just perfectly goes on. Oh, wait. Hold up. Okay. So this head, the smiling head, cannot have a crown on it. That can only be this one. You see the hair difference. One's flatter, one is not. So the, then the crown just goes perfectly right on it. That's what he looks like with it on. Really good, really like this. And um, staff just goes in right here perfectly. And this is gonna look good on the shelf. It's not really a hero or a villain, it might go next to my great protector. Uh, he is a hero, but not a main one, but it's super good. I mean, this is Odin. I don't think we're gonna get another one. Just drop the staff on the floor. Probably won't get one. 
that's what this Infinity Saga is, getting figures we won't get again, like Iron Monger. I think we will get an abomination for the She-Hulk, I mean, the next Disney Plus wave, so that's why they, I don't think they did it. But yeah. Let's get over articulation. Get that done with while I talk, before I talk about some more. Head is on the dumbbell joint, so you're gonna get your normal dumbbell joint, but the hair is kind of blocking it from going up. Going down is decent. The arms, this one goes out kind of, it's not that much stopped because the shoulder piece is floating. So that's how you get it, but this side is gonna get stopped by that piece of cape. So if you want a difference, that's how far it goes. Then you get full 360. On this one, it's pretty good. You can still get all the way around. It just goes out a little bit more when you go out, you see? And this one, you're not gonna get it at all. It's stopped. Then you have the bicep swivel and double jointed pinless elbows. I love the pinless, it makes it look way better. You have the wrist hinge. It's on a hinge like this, not like this. It's like that. There you go, and this one is the same. Hinge up and down. And it's full 360 on the hand as well. For the waist, there's a diaphragm joint. Uh, not the best for me. I mean, it's good. The figure looks way better, but ab crunches, I just... Ab crunches get way more articulation. I'm trying to find a figure with an ab crunch. Um, I won't be able to find one now. Um, let me... I mean, like this, it's kind of the same, but this isn't, Mattel doesn't have the best ab crunches. But yeah. You can also rotate it full 360 because this is a floating piece. Leg goes up really good. Goes out, it's kind of stopped by that, but you can always push it up more. And back is not exactly pretty good. Thigh swivel, nice double jointed pinless knees. Going to about that far. No boot rotation. Hinge, I, um, kind of when it's plugged in there that rotates, and a rocker and hinge. So there's a pretty good articulation for Odin. Now I'm I'm looking forward to Quicksilver when I get him. I will review him. This one, nice, Odin. You can have him posing the Thor. With Thor, I mean, we don't. I don't. I don't have a Thor one figure, Marvel Legend. I don't think they made one. There might have been some special figures, but yeah, looks really good. This is gonna be. I'm gonna try and make these reviews shorter, so that's why I'm kind of zooming through them. But I, I think I went over all the good points. The sculpt's really nice. This is twenty five dollars, just like the past ones. They've all been twenty five. Um, but I think some of these might be going on sales already. I've seen Happy Hogan and Iron Man on sale, 30% off. Go pick that up, that's a good deal. Yeah, this is Odin. A really good figure, glad I have this now in my collection. And thank you for watching, tune into the Power Rankings later today or tomorrow. And hope you have a nice day. Please subscribe.